I'm Warren Eagles, I'm a colourist based in Australia and I'm here at IBC sharing workflows between Flow, Premiere and Resolve coming from the EditShare SSD storage. So what I've been showing here this week is how we can browse our material in Flow Browse. So what we would do here is we would create a project and into there, as soon as I ingest my R3D files, my red files that we're using here from the red camera, it automatically creates proxies and I can create a temporary cut list. And what I do to do that is to just drag my clip up to here, then I can make a selection on it so I can make a quick selection, think of it as a rough edit. I can then add that down here and I've got like a little cut list. If I want to take this into a Premiere because I want to fine tune the edit or I want to do some finishing in there, what I can do is select Premiere here in my NLE options. I have Adobe Premiere Pro here. I select that. Then I can just drag the whole sequence straight across out of Flow Browse straight into Premiere and that will open me up a sequence here. As soon as it opens that up, it's as if actually I've been editing in here with this, but now it's opened up with the full R3Ds, not the proxies. Proxies are there, this is the full resolution images, and I can then use my control panel to start editing, or I could go into my creative hub here with my grading, and I can start to change my look and do whatever I need to do in Premiere. My uh, control panel will work with this as well, so it just switches and I'm now driving the R3Ds. If I'm working with Resolve, say, what I can do, I can open up a new bin in Resolve and I could drag these individual clips across, put them in there. What I can't do at the moment is drag the whole sequence, but I've got an XML for it. So I just go to my Edit tab, File, Import, go to my desktop, find where my XML is that I just made, the XML that came from Flow, and open that. Now I have that same sequence, and again, it knows because it's in Resolve to use the full res, the original R3Ds, doesn't use the proxies. I can then go into here, and I can start coloring. Now, Resolve is a high-end color corrector, so I'd use this for commercials, feature films, documentaries, TV drama. It's great to have really fast storage so I can guarantee my playback speed. So the sort of things I'm doing, this is a log image. I would be lifting up my uh, contrast on this shot, playing with my pivot. We can add extra nodes in here, so I could do this and maybe add a vignette to this shot. So we'd put in a circle here and grade outside of it. Whenever you're doing shapes and circles, this is when obviously you need a little bit more playback or faster playback if you like. I can feather that off to there. Let's make a new node and we'll grade something into the shadows. I'll put a bit of coolness through the shadows like that and maybe just warm the highlights. I'll just do that, you can see there. And I'm doing this in the log controls of the machine. Hit play plays real time despite the fact I've got a few levels there, nodes of colour correction. When I've graded it, I needed to render it. Uh, this project is going off to somewhere else. Maybe I'm sharing it between then a flame or some other high-end finishing box. I'm going to render out EXR. So I select where I'm going to render that to. or we'll go EXR, add to render queue. Then we can put it back into our browse, find it on browse, scan it. We'll make a proxy. Then we can take that into Airflow and then we can pick that up wherever else has an edit share client and see it as a proxy image, review it, and then work on that as well. So that's using uh, edit share resolve and maybe Premiere in a collaborative workflow, which uh, works really well in the sort of clients that I'm working with. Thanks very much.